Hello, hello everyone. Kindia here again with Simply Kindia. I'm back to share another junk journal with you. Um, I adore this one because it is ocean theme. It's made from this book I found when on vacation at the ocean. Um, and it's the edge of the sea. It was the name of the book. So I left the cover pretty much as it is because I had this beautiful crab illustration. It has a little snail there and a um, seahorse, or not seahorse, star um, fish there. I added this little um, sticker of a lobster on the back and kind of helped to reinforce the, the spine a little bit with these fun alphabet strip ribbon. Strip of ribbon, alphabet ribbon. I left this blank so that way whoever gets this journal can write what they want in there or they can just leave it blank or stamp it with a pretty image. Whatever it is that you fancy you want to do with this. So this is the original um, inside of the books. I, I just loved this book. It had some beautiful illustrations as you can see here. Of these um, coon oysters right there. I put this little sticker that says Marine Studies. I added a lot of the original pages back into this. Well, not as many that are as are in the book, but there's a good amount of these in here because they're just so beautiful to not add. Look at the crabs on this one. They're called Fiddler Crabs. This is a pretty sticker of shells and a, with a little tag that I made here. A little flip up. And I know lots of ladies do this on um, YouTube and I think Rita Donnelly is the first one, the one that came up with the idea, but I'm not 100% sure. have an old photograph of the ocean that I added. There's some actual sea roaches, so they don't live, cockroaches don't live on, just on land, they're in the sea too, apparently. This cute little um, image from a kid's book that I have of a little boy playing in the ocean. Another illustration there. Added a little tag to this cute little bag with a seahorse on it and division card some ledger paper some star corals predict and brain coral here this is a star coral this is a brain coral and this is a scarlet coral and then a flamingo tongue snail that's interesting you'll have a fun time looking at all these things when you get the book a shell sticker there on the tuck spot and then i added this that says happiness because to me anything to do with the ocean means happiness some um map paper and it's along a coast so it goes with our the our water theme there in the center of the signature is this beautiful illustration uh, that some of the pages had like a full page illustration on it a starfish there and sea urchins there and this is a logger head sponge with a spiny lobster and a long black-tailed sea urchin. That sea urchin has is very big. Snapping shrimp underground there. Some crabs and oysters. A purple claw or land hermit crab. It's pretty sea shore with a shell sticker on there. Some shells and some coral and that sticker here's one of the beautiful full page illustrations of waves crashing and here's a beautiful illustration with some seahorses and some starfish and spider crabs this is a two worm little tuck spot there and this is the second signature by the way this has four signatures, some index cards here in this little pocket I made with the 
other half of the front of the covers. So I utilize that in here because I just, the, the feel of the page, the age of the page, the print is just beautiful. And then a little index or division card and a little tuck spot here with this bag. Um, a beautiful picture of some that I took uh, boats on the water in Paltzbo, Washington, at the, at the docks or the whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I can't think. And another illustration from that kid's book of that little boy playing on the water. Look at these turtles. They're cute. And we're in the third, we're just starting the third um, signature here. Another tag, another flip up. Octopus in this illustration. The tuck spot. Look at that pretty sticker. And the center of the signature here. This pretty illustration of sand dollars and barnacles. Beautiful illustration right there, and same here. Another division card and a little bag pocket. Now this is the index page, this side is the index page of the maps. And that's a vintage map. So, and this is vintage ledger paper. So there's lots of vintage, an old vintage um, tag for a furniture company in Yakima, Washington. That little boy playing again in the water from that children's book. And we're in the fourth signature now. Here's my tag with my info on the back. Another flip up. Some more tags. The other piece of this beautiful paper from the book turned into an envelope. Another index card with a beautiful sticker. And look at this illustration with the beautiful fish. It's just so gorgeous. And then a fun um, poem about seashells from that from a kid's book with some fun illustrations on it so I just had to add it to this and I used the mini Tim Holtz paper clips and I just used some seam binders ribbon to add to them and here's from the children's book an illustration of a house by the sea and so here's the back and of this beautiful book and this book is from the 30s if I remember correctly so uh, very vintage and aged up all the book pages are all on their own with time. So uh, I hope um, you guys enjoyed this book and I'll talk with you later and have an, an when I have another journal to share. So I'll see you later. Bye.